album but high voltage okay hi everyone i'm gonna make so today i'm not sure if this is going to go very well or not because i'm having a clumsy day i've just dropped some of my oils that were cooling in my sink like i pour the pour some water into the sink so i can just cool that down a little bit so i dropped some of the oils in there slightly but it's okay because i've used oils to dilute well not dilute but to mix up my micas that i'm going to be using and then i came back in here and i dropped the yellow mica all over the counter <laughs> it's one of those days anyway today i'm making ingle nook soap and i'm going to try and do it very professionally <laughs> for your pleasure so let me aim you down a little bit i'm just going to mix my lye water into my oils and i'm using my original recipe which is coconut palm olive and sunflower with added cocoa butter for additional super fat so as you can see this is coming quite high up into this bowl so we're going to have to be really careful with that stick blender i knew it was going to be a little bit touch and go because this is the bowl that I use for a slightly smaller batch. It's like 600 grams more in this bowl than usual of oil. And maybe then a touch more water because of the lye. So I'm just going to stick blend slowly and I'm just going to pour just a mo. Okay, that didn't go as bad as I was expecting. So I'm going to pour off two colours, um, two amounts for my colours, which are going to be today we're having... Um, black as the base and the top and then in the middle we're going to have like a sort of deepish red and a flame yellow to sort of mimic fire the red isn't the red that i usually use so it might come out a little purpley but i really don't care funnily enough so i'll just pour off a smidge of that so we've got a swirl it's gone cold in here, I've just turned the heating off because normally when I make soap I get hot and stressy. So I just turn the heating off and it's like instantly gone quite a lot colder. So after I finish this I've got another one to make. And then I'm going home for lunch and to take the doggy back. So I think I'll put it on for when I return. So I've got some more soap to make this afternoon and orders to pack just a few today okay so fragrance and charcoal are going to go into this batch here so i've mixed some charcoal powder in to some olive oil just to help keep it fluid and i've got quite a lot because i want the black to be really black And let's put that to the side a sec. Yellow is like a flame yellow. Actually a dark, it's called dark yellow. And it's from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. You can use them if you make mineral makeup, you can try them. They're a really good company actually, I like them. Now in this one I've got a red, so I've used Reef Red Clay a neon red powder and a little smidge of candy red mica. So hopefully it will come out as I want it to. First of all, I'm going to stick on this. <laughs> So in this fragrance there is some woody notes, some frankincense and some myrrh. Let me just put a smidge in these little ones. And a whiskey note as well. It's very masculine, but very, 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 very nice. It's 
very rich and smooth and like a silky scent. It's just beautiful. And I like it very much, Lee. I was thinking it was going to go purple, but it hasn't. Well, that's good. And I'm going to just use, doesn't matter if we get a bit of red in our yellow, we'll just go an orangey yellow. Okay. Very pretty. mould again with my oil cloth so let's just aim you down so you can see the pore okay so I'm going to do like half of this black first maybe a little smidge more and then what I want is some swirlage all throughout I'm going to reserve some for the top so we can have a swirl on the top and then let's go in with the yellow so I wanted it to mimic like fiery colors you know I usually for ingle nook I normally make it with some little bits of wood on the top but this year I'm not going to do that because what I want to do is just have a really nice swirly top and then on the top I've got some little bits of soap shreds that I've put in some glitter okay, for that. just grab my chopstick and just swirl it like that So we just get a bit of movement as usual. I don't mind. I do like a drop swirl. Oh, oh, see, clumsy oaf. I do like a drop swirl, but today I just want it to be swirled inside, and I want to get the majority of this black on the top, so it's not all going down into the bottom. But quite thick. I'm going to spoon it on just for a minute. Having my shop open, it's kind of nice because I get to play around and think, oh, I'll do some different things for the shop than I do normally. But then it just makes it exciting for everyone because my mail order customers will like things new too. I think that's the key most of the time is people like to try new bits and pieces as well as have the option to buy, um, you know, your general catalogue items. So I like to do lots of newbies every season because I just get bored. Like I've said in lots of videos, it can be really boring if you are just like clockwork, you know, and you're doing the same thing. I don't like that. It becomes more of a have to than a want to. You know? Okay, so that's the black. Just got a bit of tissue. Just to tidy up a little bit because I always make a mess. This bench has got a slight 
slope to it. Only very slight, but I think it has you know, a bit of a pain in the bum sometimes. Okay, so let's just get some contrasting colour on top. And then I can do my glittery bits. So this is lower in the mould, as you can see. It's not coming right to the top. And that is because I've been doing different shaped soaps lately. I'm making, um, like, chunks, which you may have seen on the website, because they're just a really nice size. They're like sort of squat in height, but uh, soap chunks, I just really, really like them. I've always been like a fat, I like cubes, but cubes are a little bit difficult to use. I've made cube soaps this year, but I thought actually what I could do is just chop off part of that cube and just keep it like a rectangle shape but still keep the height. Plus the cubes were about seven ounces, which is a little bit large. So these are about five ounces, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I'm gonna cut that way. So I wanna just swirl it a minute, and then I'm gonna peek the top like I usually do with my soaps. And then I'm going to put on my little glittery pieces. I'm just going to pause while that thickens and I'll be back. Okay, I've just uh, got it to the thickness I needed. I'd just like to create some lovely waves. And it's at the perfect consistency now. to do a little marking out just so I can get my little bits of glitter in the right place. Okay, so here is my little glittery particles. I've used some red glitter and some gold glitter on those. So I just want to put it through the centre of each soap loaf just to add a little prettiness and Christmassiness. Use my little soap bits and coat them in glitter and then it's not a waste. I just don't like throwing things like that away, you know. Sometimes I do because it can be time consuming to sort it out. Like I'll make soap balls out of my excess batter, but sometimes it just is so time consuming to stand and roll bloody soap balls, you know. I don't always want to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to stand here and just push this all into the soap. And I'll be back tomorrow to show you what it looked like, what it looks like when it's finished setting up and is hard enough to cut. So I'm going to carry on here and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta. Okay, good morning. It is the next day and it's time to cut. So, get me some glubbies. Okay, so I've got three batches to cut today, but I'm just going to do this one. I'm just going to do ingle nook because it's the only one I filmed the making of. I can show you the other ones, but I won't cut them on camera. So somebody mentioned the oil cloth. Yes, I still use it, but I only use it in this mould because this mould is silicone and I don't need it. So yeah, I'm happy with the angle knock. I'll just show you this one. This is the one maker. That was made yesterday. And the other one is a 
cranberry, orange cloves, and ginger grass. I used some essential oils in that one, the other little one. Okay, so here is Ingle Nook. some noises, lots of deliveries going up in the Signal alleyway today. Man with their sack trucks and things. Okay, let's just get you round. Okay, so this is Inglenook. It's getting a little duller overnight, as they do, but it's still, mm, it smells like heaven. Okay, so it's just my other log splitter. So let's just get that split and just make sure you can see everything. Yeah. Okay. I had another question that I will answer. Somebody asked me, why do I not cut my logs that way and I cut them that way? It's because the bottom of this board only goes to there and it's the perfect size for all those, that's why. This looks really cool. So it's not picking up the brightness of the colour that well on camera. But it is pretty bright. It always sort of delves down a bit, that camera, but um, I usually edit for photographs, but the video it is as it is. It is quite a dull day outside today, which doesn't help. Okay, that one's just that last piece has to be cut a bit thicker because it's ever so slightly thinner there. So we'll just cut these do a few bars. Some of my sprinkles are falling off. Just have a sip of coffee out of my really naff coffee cup. I'd normally have my Winston mug from Matt, but I don't know what happened to it actually. I need to find it. I think I left it at home. Okay, so just so you can see the trim and the cut, I'll get you there. Let's use those for samples. Whew, I'm very warm today. Okay, so there's the end piece, and there's the inside. I did swirl it with the chopstick. I was just thinking, did I swirl this or did I not swirl this? These are going to be big bars, like really chunky bars. In fact, I'll probably have to trim the bases and use the bases as samples because these have come out a little bit too high. I've just got my mixture um, a bit too much. Yeah, because we're only getting four chunks and we should be getting five. So I'm going to actually let's bring, bring it in a bit and see if we can get five out of the next one. Otherwise, we're going to end up with not enough soaps. Um, well, not not enough, but, you know, out of a batch that size, I want to make sure that I get a decent amount. That should do it. Three. Yeah, that's it. I've just brought it in a little bit, just so it's not quite so wide on the top. So those first bars, I'll just trim them down a bit. Otherwise, I wasn't going to get the full quota that I wanted. Okay. That'd be better. I've just been in the park with the dog. And she started to limp. I don't know what she'd done. She was playing with another little dog in the park. And 
all of a sudden was holding her paw up. But she is a whippet, so they can be quite wimpy. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty, 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 pretty soap. So I'm going to try and do some more videos. I'm, I do slack off a bit with the videos because sometimes I'm just making and I don't think I'll well, set up the camera. You know, it's just some days are so busy that I just don't think about filming. Um, but I should. I should do it more because people keep on at me. <laughs> Bring me some more videos, do some more videos. I really miss your videos. So I'm gonna try and do a few more. If there's anything you'd like to see that I don't do already, then let me know. I'm not gonna be giving my recipes away, which I've asked, been asked several times to show you how I make whip soap or how I make body cream. I'm not gonna do those because it's my, they're my recipes, you know? So I won't be sharing those, I'm afraid, because this isn't a tutorial guide plenty of those on YouTube um, but if there's content you'd like to see that I don't already show then just leave me a comment and I'll uh, see if I can accommodate I don't really know what else to do I mean it's you know soap making is how this channel started so it's kind of where it stayed at but there could be some extra bits and pieces that I could do, I am aware. So just let me know. Or if you're happy with it, then don't say a word. <laughs> don't go telling me all the things you hate about my channel. Because <laughs> that won't be very nice. Okay. Now, the next one I do have to cut a bit thicker because 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 I do otherwise it won't be the same weight as the other ones so these ones come as a big ass chunk <laughs> lovely There's a lot of activity out there today I don't know where people are coming from Especially since we've got a new Waitrose opening down the road that they're building at the moment. The car park that is usually out the back. Nobody can use it at the moment because Waitrose is coming. Which is great for me because it means I won't have to drive anywhere after work to get dinner if I haven't got anything in the house. I'll have a supermarket down the road. Plus, if you, go and, if you have a Waitrose card, you can have a free coffee every day. <laughs> So that would be really nice. I don't know what their coffee's like, mind. And I like a, I like a good coffee in the morning. I only have one, so it's got to be a good one. Make it count, you know. Okay, so how many have I got? Two, three. 28. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there and carry on with the rest of my soapies. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.